Okay, very good. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here today. Um, you're going to hear some great um, approaches to the market uh, and um, all at the same time, kind of keeping your head together over the next few days. I think I may be unique in that, uh, although I do uh, understand the benefits in having uh, a, a trading plans that take into account um, the mental and emotional aspects and, and try to avoid um, a, a process that, that gets one too, uh, too excited or whatever and off the trading plan. In the end, uh, it's not going to be about the trading plan because it never really was. I, I've built um, hundreds of trading plans in my career and, um, and I do uh, have a mind for uh, making trading plans, especially simple. I find simple trading plans are the easiest to follow and therefore the most likely that you'll stay on the plan. Um, but it's not about the trading plan. And I think you're probably proof of it uh, if you're on this, uh, on this presentation and, uh, and have an interest in the entire three days, because uh, really how many trading plans have you purchased in the past? How many trading plans have you tried? Worked out well kind of in the beginning and then uh, went nowhere. Uh, after that, uh, that drove you to get the next trading plan and the next trading plan. So uh, you're looking in the wrong place. Um, yes, the trading plan is important and, and, and it's, it's important to convince yourself that a trading plan will work if you, uh, if you follow it. But the problem becomes that just that following it in the, in the, uh, in the face of high cortisol levels, which are, is the, uh, is the enzyme that um, that will come up in your uh, in your body that will um, that will cause you to jump off your plan because you're not thinking straight. Um, in any event, I want to go through four keys to trading in the zone. I use the term trading in the zone because it's well known. Uh, the zone is where you are totally focused, in total belief, in total rhythm with running your trading plan and therefore approaching the markets and. These four keys, without them, without these four keys, because really it only takes one or two jumps off your trading plan to destroy your, your profitability, you need all of these keys. And I'm going to go through them one by one. So let's get going. That is, it's, speaking of, it's always good to have somebody you love at your side. Uh, it's been over 40 years now I've been married to Tisha, who is uh, not only my beautiful wife, but she is also... Uh, a co-developer in the business. She is a world-renowned subconscious trainer, helping traders with their mental and emotional aspects in some of the uh, processes that she creates. And I'm going to mention that um, hopefully at the end here. My name is Norman Hallett. Uh, I'm an author, trader, consultant, educator. I've written several books. These two are, I believe, still on the um, on Amazon and around the web. Uh, the first one there, how to uh, design and construct an effective trading plan is, is really the third book I wrote on developing trading plans. So I'm not unaware of the importance of a good trading plan, but I'm equally aware of the importance of what's going on between your ears. Um, other books and so on, this actually was a, is a video presentation of um, uh, that I did at the, one of the expos in Las Vegas. Uh, but I'm mostly known, I, I guess it was on the map, Dave and I were talking about uh, about how I rose in, in, in exposure and prominence in, in the investment industry. And really, it was a four-minute drill for traders that I did for four years, every over 200 of them, uh, where I kind of go right between the eyes here with you uh, to really give you the truth about trading and why hopping from trading plan to trading plan is not your answer. And just a little bit of attention on a daily basis, and I'm talking seven to 10 minutes a day on, on, on your mental and emotional capabilities, making that solid for your trading play makes all, makes all the difference in the world. I worked for Payne Weber, uh, was an enjoyable couple of years with them, but it wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, you talk about a sales outfit, they were mostly selling. I was a commodity specialist for Payne Weber. Um, I um, phoned my own, um, Commodity Trading Advisory, where I was running uh, $250,000 accounts and more for qualified traders. Um, 
And that was a very uh, terrific experience, actually, as a commodity trading advisor. You actually make 20% of the of profit that you make for trader for, for your customers. Um, but now there's something called prop trading, and we'll discuss that in another section that I'm really hot on. And that's uh, where they pay you 90% of the money you're trading, and it's their money. So very interesting, but my experience as a commodity trading advisor, of course, um, um, that experience has helped me to uh, also help traders from a different angle. But the last 20 years, really, I have focused on the Disciplined Trader, which started in October of 2000. We've been around now 22 years plus, and we are really the flag bearer or the torch hander uh, or the... Um, uh, what is it when they run away? The baton uh, handler for the idea of the mental and emotional capabilities of traders. Without this, you, you're just going to keep running the rat wheel. So let's get into, well, I, I do want to tell you a little bit more about Tisha because it's her um, expertise that's formed a lot of the, uh, uh, or, or all of the uh, processes that we use to help traders uh, to to change quickly and easily. So uh, she's recognized as an innovator in the field of subconscious training. Over above her 32 years of private practice, she's developed several breakthrough processes that I've mentioned. She, uh, when we were in California, she started something called the Fast Start Accelerated Learning Program for students that became big in in California. And since 2000, as I mentioned, she's focused primarily on helping me and stock futures and options traders. Uh, with their discipline to follow the trading plan. So uh, you couldn't get a better teacher uh, for you and instructor. I couldn't get a better life partner. So you're in with me now. So what's trading in the zone? Trading in the zone to me means trading with a calm, patient, confident focus. That's what trading in the zone means. And I think it probably means the same thing to you. I think, conf yeah, it's all important, calm, patient, and confident focus. Um, let's get to the actual keys. This is the key. The key one is trading on solid ground. Uh, for as much as I tell you that your trading plan is not uh, is not the key to your trading success. I mean, it is from the standpoint that you need a roadmap and you need a good trading plan, but the key is going to be you and running that trading plan. But you, in order to do that, you have to believe in the why of your trading plan. Why did you construct your trading plan the way it, it, it is constructed? See, without the why, this is the reason why you can buy a trading plan from somebody and they can talk to you, give you the lines and the, and, and the entry points and the exit points, but Unless you understand why you're being given those points, all you need is a couple of losses, a couple of times where it doesn't work and you start doubting the plan because you don't have a depth of understanding. You need to know the whys of your trading plan. Why are you being asked to get in at this point? Not because a line crosses a, a moving average. It's because that when it crosses that moving average, it means that uh, it, it means that it has broken a plane that is above, say, in the, in, in the northerly direction, above the average, and therefore shows a tendency uh, to want to go higher. And so you need to understand the depth of, of, what, of what you're doing. So without the why of your trading plan, without, without knowing how uh, the, the guts of why you're, being at, why you're asking yourself to do what you're, you're doing, or why somebody else is asking you to do what you're doing in the case of following somebody else, um, it won't last long with, with a couple of bad situations. You want to test your plan. And I, I'm, I'm not going to say much more about that, uh, except for it's important to, to, to have trust that your plan is going to give you the results that you want it to give you. And the only way to do that, and there's so many ways now to test, not only can you look at a static plan, but I know Ninja Trader and, and, um, and TradeStation and some of the major uh, platforms, um, you're actually able to look in the past and have you roll out what, what would have happened if you were there. So it's kind of like trading live uh, because you don't see the future, uh, the future bars and so on. So test your plan so, so that you have the confidence that it works over time. Because, and when I say over time, I'm talking about over weeks and months. 
this is something that uh, that I ask uh, any trader that I'm coaching or helping develop in any facet, and that's a daily quick test refresh. Um, it's important to, I mean, there's so much information coming at you all the time uh, that you can't rely on the past testing that you've done to give you the confidence for today, uh, because there may be a lot of negative news coming out that, that may be against the position you're holding or whatever that, that goes against your plan, but the recent news is, is, is uh, for, for your plan, you know what I'm saying, you can't get confused with all the uh, negativity that's coming in and, and testing your resolve for the plan. So you wanna do what I call a daily quick test refresh. And what I mean by that is that I want you to go back the, and, and I'm talking mostly here to day traders. And, and if you're a position trader, then look back several days and weeks. But in the, in the case of the uh, daily trader, look back yesterday, just yesterday's action and see that if you had followed every uh, signal that the trading plan uh, asked you to take advantage of, and you had exited correctly, entered correctly, that you would have made some nice money. Okay, and if it wasn't, if if that wasn't the case when you do your daily quick test on the previous day, go to, go go back another day or another two days, and what you'll want, to, what you'll find if you have a valid trading plan is that over the course of two days or three days, you would have done very well if you had just followed your trading plan. So I like to have you spend. Uh, it, it only takes a couple of minutes to look back at yesterday and maybe the day before if you need to, to make sure that you have total current trust in your plan. So if you take nothing out of this talk, if you don't take advantage of anything that I, I'll offer at the end, I want you to, to, to institute this daily quick test refresh, okay? Keep your plan as simple as possible. I mentioned this before, um, we have something called simple trading plans. And um, our premier simple trading plan called Loaded Gun is, is really uh, getting a lot of attention in the industry because of its, not only its accuracy, but its simplicity. Most traders, even my colleagues will take a look at it and said, well, there's not much there. We've only got a, a couple of moving averages and, a, and, a, and an RSI. I mean, how can you get a full picture? Well, um, you're going to find that, that when you take a look at all of your, um, all of your um, indicators that, that you may have some, a lot of redundancy there or overlaps. And so, you know, my, my challenge with, with traders, I have them challenge themselves to simplify their trading plan and to eliminate um, uh, things that repeat. A simple trading plan is easier to test. If there's nothing else, you need a track to run on and you need that trust in that track. And it's easier to test when you're not when you don't when you're not asking trade trades to jump a million hoops. Okay, uh, you need to find the right balance between confirmation of a trade, in other words, confirming the movement that you want to be part of, and 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 just over over analyzing. I mean, if you have a MACD uh, on the bottom of your of your chart. And you have an RSI at the bottom of your chart. I'm not sure you need both. I don't think so. Um, I mean, there is argument that one may be a, a, a little bit lagging in its indication, another maybe, but you don't need two momentum indicators. Um, th that's a kind of an obvious example, but I think you're going to find that if you work with what's behind these indicators, you're going to find a lot of overlaps. You, you want you want to have a simple trading plan as you can. Okay. Okay. So th that's all about the trading plan. Now let's turn to you. You have to believe in yourself. And this is, these are not just words. These are not just saying, you know, look in the mirror, like uh, what's that guy Paulie on Saturday night live like, years ago, where he used to say, I like myself. I like myself. Although I think it's good if you do that. I mean, I like you, you might as well like yourself. I think the idea here is that you have to believe in yourself, believe that you are not playing around here that you're that you're that you're in this to win and you're going to do the things that you need to do to win you've got to believe that you are ready to win that this is your time right now to win and and that that's going to mean for a lot of you putting a lot of losing and a lot of frustration behind you and the way you get to 
being ready to win is to follow these steps that I'm talking to you about. Review your plan in the way that I've asked you to review. Understand the why of your plan. And believe, and you'll be, start to believe that you're ready to win right now. You already did the work. You already did the work. I mean, how many trading plans do you need to go through to understand that support and resistance is something that you have to pay huge attention to? And then when, you're, when a market starts to race uh, up to a resistance point, you think, boy, this could be the big way till it breaks that resistance and goes through. You, you can't make up stories when you trade. You do, you do the work, you know that, that supports and resistances are areas to be respected, okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You've done the work. You likely don't need to learn more. My friend, my, my late friend, my uh, Joe Ross, uh, who wrote many books on framing your trading as a business where you get serious, he said to me one time, actually it wasn't too long ago, a couple of years ago, we were talking about all the books we have on our shelf, he says, I never look at them. He says, I don't even read my own books anymore. I don't even look at my own books. And, um, <laughs> and I said, Joe, he says, I know enough. I know enough. More is just going to be overload. I know enough. I know how to manage. I know what the right thing to do is with the information that I have. And therefore, all I need to do now is to execute. And when I don't execute and I make a mistake, it doesn't mean I need to hit the books again. It means, means I need to work on myself. So Joe and I, may he rest in peace, was a huge advocate of the mental and emotional game. And I'm a huge, I was a huge, I still am a huge advocate of his work, framing your trading as a business. If you don't have that oversized book by Joe Ross, I think it's called, let me see, it's on my shelf here somewhere. Trading as a business, it's called, okay? It won't fit on your bookshelf because it's oversized, but it's a terrific book, Joe Ross. Believe that you have what it takes to win. There's a difference between believing you're ready to win and believing that you have what it takes to win. If you, if you conclude that this may not be for you because you've struggled in the past, that is not going to serve you. You have, you have to believe that you have what it takes to win. You look at others that, you know, in the business that, that you've somehow judged as lesser than you in some way, and you're wondering how they can win and not you. It's just that they may be lesser in certain ways, but they're, they may be a little bit better at controlling their emotions and keeping their cortisol level down so that they can, they can uh, exercise what they believe in, and, and that is the why of their system and running their system. So you need to believe that you have what it takes. There are no education requirements. This is the beautiful part of trading that you can, um, that nobody's going to, in fact, you can do it without any input from anybody. It's you and the computer, no educational requirement. Winning is a process. You have to have your plan and then you have to have your confidence. Those are the two pieces that, that are, you, that you need to win consistently. Otherwise you're going to win sometimes, lose sometimes, and it's always going to be frustrating. So your confidence in your plan and your ability to run that plan is really is, is, is the only combination. You have to appreciate what you've accomplished. In other words, you may not have you may not be a successful trader at this point, but I, I will say that you've done a lot of good things. You've learned uh, enough. You, you've learned a lot. You, you've learned where to buy, where to sell. You've learned how to adjust a trading plan according to what you feel is good. And, and you've done a lot of good work. Your, your trading discipline is not, may not be there yet. And that's what's hurting you. And I'm glad you're here because I'm going to give you the solution. But the idea is that this is truly a, a, a glass full and ha a glass half empty, glass half full, glass half empty kind of a business. You need to see everything as a glass half full. Okay. You can't look at it reminds me of, I think, the Laurel and Hardy, if anybody remembers of them, where uh, Laurel hands, uh, Hardy hands Laurel a full glass of, of um, uh, and he says, let's see, have some of my, my, he drinks the whole thing. He says, I, I only wanted you to drink half. He says, my half was the bottom half. So, well, but, but the idea here is that 50%, you have to look at the top side. Look, you've done a lot of work. You're, you, you should be ready to go. There's no reason 
that you can't change, that can't that 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 you can't be a very successful trader and consistently so. You know, when that when that flip happens, when you become when you start experiencing yourself as a um, as a consistently successful trader, it all flips around. All of a sudden, you can't go back. You're, you're now in a different division, but you need to get over that line. And that line happens when you decide to get serious, like Joe Ross would say, if you decide to get serious about the mental and emotional capabilities that you have and doing something about it to apply your, your ability to running your trading plan without getting in your own way. Let's get to the third key. Let me check my time. You need to keep your need low. Now, this is big. And I'm working with a number of, um, of prop traders um, and getting them through the, um, the evaluation so that they can trade somebody else's money and earn that 90%. And what happens is um, that they need to keep their need low. Uh, they test, they always ask me, should I test for a $50,000 account or a $150,000 account? or a $250,000 account. Everybody's new traders and new to this, they always, they always choose the 50. They think it's easier to pass. They think it's less. It's not true. And I only give you this example because in general, what you want to do is think big, but trade small. Think big, but trade small. In the case of prop trading, you, you want to say, go for the 150 or 250. And then when you pass it, treat it like a fifty or sixty thousand dollar account, so you want to continue to under trade your your potential so that you keep your need low. Okay, um, that's just a, a tip for you prop traders out there. If you need to be profitable, you likely won't be. And I put the the, the word need in uh, in quotes. I mean, you know that if you're running a five thousand dollar account right now, or a ten thousand dollar account, or a twenty thousand dollar account and you really need to make money from that, it's probably not going to happen. The need is too high. And you'll, you'll, um, you'll doubt yourself whether, whether the safety or the lack of safety in what you're about to do is worth risking the money that you need uh, to make money on. It's a, it's a bad situation. This is why I'm, I'm big on prop trading because uh, anybody with an account, they say less than $50,000 should definitely uh, be looking at prop trading and not risking their own money. Uh, it's, it's, I, I just wrote a white paper and I'm willing to send it to you if you'd like, uh, called the death of simulated trading. I mean, if you're going to go through simulated trading and then risk your own money, why not go through simulated trading by, uh, by testing for prop trading and then you'll, you'll be awarded the money and you can make 90% of that. So all of that, you, you, you all of that may rise questions in you, raise questions in your mind, but don't worry about it. I'm, I'm speaking that moment to people who understand what prop trading is. But, um, but if you need to be profitable, you likely won't be. Can, you know, you ask yourself, can I afford to lose this? Okay, that's what you need to ask yourself when you're because if you're going to come to the mark with five or ten thousand dollars, you're going to tell yourself it's lost. Now you may think that flies in the face of half full and half empty, but but once you say I'm willing to lose this money and I'm going to do it the right way, I likely won't lose if I do it right. But if I can afford to lose it, and and I'm not I'm not going to worry about drawdowns. I'm, I'm going to worry about following my tr my tested trading plan. So can you afford to lose is something that's always in your mind, especially with smaller accounts. And where would you be if you did lose? You have to, this is a way, asking yourself this question, where would I be if I did lose? That's a way of, and if the answer is not, hey, I'd be fine, um, you know, no big deal, uh, but I would like to see if I can create money with this amount of money so I can invest something bigger in it. If, the, if that's not the process that you're using, you really should look into prop trading and you really should uh, consider trading micros instead of the larger uh, positions so that you can build yourself up by again under trade you want to you want to think you want you want to uh, you you want to think big but trade small okay once you're satisfied okay forget forget the the money and focus on achieving okay once you're satisfied with the fact that you can lose this money it's not going to hurt you not going to hurt anybody not going to hurt your family not going to hurt you once you're satisfied with that, forget about it and focus on the on look ahead and focus on the winning. OK, there is a wisdom in multiple streams of income. OK, um, 
attorney friend of mine sat me down years ago, uh, several decades ago, and where I was wor working with a different business. And, and I, I said, uh, you know, he said, make sure that you that you develop multiple streams of income. This really will reduce your stress. This way, if you have trouble in one area of income, you have you have your other area of income. And this is why a lot of traders, especially a lot of uh, retired uh, individuals, look to this uh, process of trading as another stream of income. And, and having multiple streams of income takes the pressure off. So don't abandon other streams, even small that you have while you're learning and, and becoming successful in trading. It's going to take the pressure off your trading, okay? Uh, by having multiple streams, um, you, you can, you, one, one stream can have a problem, you're still living well on the other streams, okay? I, I did want to ask, I just want to give you my email address. This is my personal email address. I've mentioned a little bit about prop trading here. If you're interested in what it's about, I've got a couple of white papers. I'll just uh, reply to your email and, and attach the white paper to you, if, if you'd like, that I've written about the pros and cons of prop trading and, and, the, um, uh, and the idea that I mentioned uh, before of the death of simulated trading because of the value of prop trading. If you have an interest in that, just email me, uh, nhallad at the Discipline Trader. I'll give you more information on that. Let's get into the fourth key. And this is the one that I think um, most trade. this is the easiest key to apply. And yet um, most traders somehow believe that they can change their mentality by themselves. You, you really, you know, just like you believe you can trade by yourself. Yes, you can, but you needed somebody in the beginning to show you what support and resistance is, will show you the value of moving averages, to show you uh, the, the importance of keeping something. You needed somebody to tell you all of that and, and to help you apply all of that. You need somebody to help you with the mental and emotional. You need a, a mentor. You need to have a support system. Look, it's just you and your computer here. We're just dealing with you and your computer. Well, that's all we are as traders. Sure, you have a, you used to have a partner you used to sit next to me. He was more distracting me than, than uh, had a, had a uh, place at the, the penthouse in a, uh, the top floor of a, a, a on um, uh, in downtown uh, Brickell Street in the uh, Brickell Avenue in, um, in Miami. And we were living high in the hog and he was, he was next to me and uh, he, he was more, pro more trouble than it was worth trying to trade two people sitting next to each other. So I, I got my own office and, and again, me and the computer. And generally that's what's happening with most of us here. It's just, just the two of us, okay? The computer, I'm personifying the computer, but uh, it's just us, okay? You gotta give yourself access to mental conditioning tools. You have to, you have to make it, a religious effort almost to make sure that you train your mind to, to follow your trading plan. You need to understand how the brain works. I'm going to give you a little bit of that in a second. Just the simple, um, the, the simple understanding of how the brain works. One tool that we use and that I suggest that you use, whether you work with me or not, is, a, is meditation. And meditation is not so some you know creepy thing that they do in uh, you know in other countries and so on. it's it is a form of of relaxing your mind so that you can operate so that you that when you're out of meditation you operate with more clarity okay by meditating you're lowering the cortisol level okay which is your stress hormone you want to keep that down. the lower your cortisol level the more relaxed you are so you know it's, you know, I say it's not your fault. No, it's your fault now from here on in, but <laughs> if you don't take advantage of, of doing something for your mental and emotional, I'm just saying that it, you know, cortisol level makes you do some things that you normally wouldn't do. If you can keep your cortisol level down, you can operate in a much more uh, exacting um, a process. So meditation lowers your cortisol level. It's a tool for rapidly changing your subconscious mind's beliefs. And I'm going to show you that a little more in a second. And whether, you know, I'm, I'm big on, um, on autobiography, on biographies and autobiographies, whether you read, read one on Steve Jobs, Joe Rogan, Bill Gates, Jerry Seinfeld, most people that you've, that have been successful at the highest levels, including Musk, they meditate. They meditate. Why do they do that? Because they understand that every that, that that a lot of stuff is coming at them at the same time, and they need to respond to that in a in an orderly and and calm way. And to do that, 
They need to clear their minds. It's the same for us with trading. We're going, I, I hate to call it a battle because we're really, we, you want to zen yourself with the market. You want to try to ride with the market sideways, up or down. You're not battling the market. But uh, it, it, the, the idea here is that we have a lot of input as traders. We need to be able to organize that input quickly and act on it. This is what happens when you meditate. You clear other conflicts in your mind so that you can go to your trading with clarity, okay? Positive suggestions specific to trading in a relaxed, focused manner. This should be the content of your meditation. I am a wise and disciplined trader. I understand that I have what it takes to win at trading because I have done my homework. I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. If you're in a relaxed state and you hear messages or voice messages like that, whether you record them yourself and or whether you use our specific um, meditations that we've created specifically for traders. When you start hearing these, um, when you hear the these positive, specific suggestions to trading, it, it 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 forms what they call a neural pathway. Which enough neural pathways make a neural net, which is what drives you. I'm going to get into that in a second. There's also something that we use called affirmations, which uh, alone by itself, because it works with the subconscious mind and not the, con uh, the conscious mind and not the subconscious mind, it has l very little effect I find on its own. But in synergy with working with your subconscious mind through these meditation, that synergy does boost the clarity that the meditations will offer you. So, you, because your mind can only think of one thing at a time. If you're listening, if your conscious mind is, is listening to something, it, it can't, it can't get out of focus. And if that's something, are specific positive suggestions to your trading, you're going to have a benefit, okay? It keeps your positive thoughts in the front of mind. It's really the power of synergy. So we always offer traders meditations and matching affirmations so that they can do them both. But to do affirmations without the meditation is not going to really be of help. You want to do at least the meditations, which are seven to 10 minutes a day. That's it before you start trading. And and match it with affirmation. A lot of people download the affirmations and put it in their, you know, listen to it in their car and so on. It's just um, um, positive thoughts and so on. I don't actually do the affirmations. Uh, Tisha does them all the time. Uh, it's really a, it's, a, it's something that I believe that if I pound myself with, it just makes sure that I have the 10 minutes, uh, seven to 10 minutes a day of the meditation. That's all I've ever needed. And that's maybe all that you need, but the affirmations are there to give you a supercharge if you do need them. Okay, let's get into what a peak performance looks like for traders. I mean, again, you're going to hear all about the best trading plan is all you need. Not true. Not true. Uh, I mean, yes, you need it. But but look at all the great trading plans you've had in the past. What you need is to get serious yourself about your mental and emotional conditioning. This is an actual picture. This is a photograph, uh, a, a, an electronic photograph of the subconscious mind, literally. These tendrils here, these worms that you're seeing here are those thoughts that I mentioned. These are, these are energy. When you have a thought is energy, we know that. We know, you know, whether you believe in things like auras and so on and so forth, it's real. It is real. When you have a th thought is energy, and th these are actually the physical representations of what, of, of carrying those thought waves in your brain. That's what these are. And if you, and when you, when you say I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I, and, and I, and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does, it, it creates one of these neural pathways. Enough neural pathways with the same suggestion, with the same area of suggestion. I, I honor my stock because I know that protects me and, and my, it's from, from undue losses. I'm a wise and disciplined trader. I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. You keep feeding your mind these, this, these energy streams, these neural pathways, and it results in what they call a neural net. This is a neural net. This is what drives, this is this part of your subconscious mind that drives you to do something or not to do something. For instance, if, if these neural pathways were saying, boy, I just lost in the last trade, I better be very careful. Mm, I wonder if my trading plan is still working in the eyes of inflation. I if you have doubtful neural pathways going 
you're creating a doubtful and fearful neural net. And when your trading plan asks you to take a trade, you operate by your by what by your neural net. Your your conscious mind says, "Come on, take the trade, take the trade." You're supposed to take the trade, but your your subconscious mind is saying, "Hey, wait a second, wait a second. This may not work. You've just you, you, we know that you just you know had a loss, and maybe that'll be." You're operating by what your what your subconscious neural neural net it ha, that you've created has in store for you. So you operate that. So if you want to see what's what dominant neural nets that you have that you have right now, look how you're acting. Just look how you're acting. If you're act, if you're doing a lot of the wrong things and, and you, you see a market go up, but you take it without, you take a profit too short, even though your trading plan didn't tell you to, but you didn't want to lose what, what, what you had in the game, you're operating under a neural net somewhere of fear of being taken away. You can't be doing that. It is your job as a trader to to create neural nets that serve you as a trader. I'm a wise and disciplined trader. I understand that my patience will serve me. I always wait for, for a trade to mature and I follow my trading plan. I do not, I, I don't, I don't operate on, on anything other than what my trading plan tells me to do because I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. If you operate, if you do, if you feed your mind the right energy, the right energy paths, right neural pathways, you will build a neural net that will serve you. Here's another picture uh, of an electron, an electron microscope of a neuron. Uh, of this, this is the neural net that I showed you before, was colorful before, and these are the energy pathways. Look at them. They're happening all the time. You have thoughts all the time. This is the neural pathway that you're operating on, for instance, when you decide to uh, take a trade that's maybe a B plus trigger instead of not having the patience to wait for a really good setup. You're bored and you're here to make money. You can't make money if you're not in it. So let's get in something. If you're operating on, based on that, it means that you're op you've, you've inputted too many negative and, and thoughts that, that do not help you as a trader. It's your job to meditate and create. And the meditation creates these neural pathways. OK, and they will create the neural net that will serve you. OK, I think I've drilled that into you. But let's see. Scientists at Cold Spring Harbor announced today they've discovered a new neural circuit linking deep fears in the area of the brain step that controls behavior. So uh, they're, they're formed in different parts of your brain. Uh, the fear, of course, is going to um, likely be in this area of uh, the brain stem. OK, but suffice it to say. The science works the same way. This is a beautiful picture. I thought maybe you'd want to see it. I'm, I, 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 uh, I think it's pretty impressive and I, I hope you do too. Anyway, let's look at the Discipline Trader Master Program. Here's what I have to offer you that I believe, and, and I want to go through it one at a time because whether you, whether you take advantage of this special pricing I'm giving you or not, I want you to understand the elements. Maybe you can try to put them together yourself if you're not ready to make your life easy and have us do it for you. Here are the six core subconscious training meditations that we have. Well, there, are, there are more, there are seven or eight more for traders and a hundred more for other parts of your, of, of your life. But I want, to, I want to focus on these six core meditations for traders, okay? Uh, the first one is the hesitation to pull the trigger. The hesitation to pull the trigger becomes confidence to pull the trigger. That's the purpose of that particular. I think this is actually the longest meditation. I think it's 10 and a half minutes. Okay, so it's close to 11 minutes. That's the longest one. And what we do ask you to do is just take this meditation before you start trading. Okay, not asking for much, but doing this every day before you start, all it's going to take is a couple of weeks of once a day, 10 minutes a day, to, to have enough neural pathways that will result in the neural net that will have you pulling the trigger with confidence instead of hesitating. Okay, capiche? Second of the core is overcoming thoughts of fear and greed. You know, the fear is, you know, whenever I, I'm on stage or whether I talk on webinars or whatever, and I ask what's your biggest situation that's holding you, but fear is the big, and of course, greed can be the flip side, and sometimes uh, um, even worse than, than fear. Fear holds you back from doing something and, and then has you move somehow in frustration. Greed has you believing that you're invincible and taking on too big a position. That's where you blow out accounts. So overcoming thoughts of fear and greed is very hurtful. Uh, fear, thoughts of fear and greed are hurtful. How do you overcome them? Well, 
you overcome them by 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 committing to a meditation that restores and enhances your confidence in your trading plan, honors the work that you've done to put the trading plan together and gives you the neural pathways that will create a neural net to overcome your thoughts of fear and greed and replace it with confidence. The next is trading to make money mindset. I took a lot of, I mentioned Joe Ross, the late Joe Ross to you earlier. Uh, he, he wrote the book on trading as a business. Um, there's a number of things that you can do to to, to you, you got to get out of I'm trying trading to I'm a trader I'm a successful trader and that's who I am you got to you, you maybe you're make it fake it till you make it kind of thing and that's that's what you want to do but the idea is that you, you don't want to be doing this as a hobby otherwise you're just throwing away your money and one thing to do is to is to frame your trading as a business in other words when you take a loss you shouldn't be thinking, oh my God, I've just lost my money. What you should be thinking is that loss is like me advertising my business in a magazine and I didn't get any calls. I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to try a different magazine. I'm going to try a different ad, but it's part of business. Okay. In business, you're always doing things that are not working and then you're adjusting to make them work. Same thing in trading. So the mindset of being in business, having a trading as a business is huge to this whole framework. That, I'm, that, that you're trying to create for yourself. You're either a serious professional trader or you're just kidding yourself. There's no middle ground. And trading to make your take money mindset is going to help you. It's one of my favorites um, the, of, of all of these um, all of these meditations. Strength to take your losses. If you if you can't take your loss when you're supposed to. If you lift a stop and say, well, it's just going to hit me like last time and go, you've got to follow your trading plan. You can't look at, at poor results that you had once or twice or three times or all day yesterday and expect your trade and, and, and have your trading plan as the reason because your trading plan is a percentage kind of thing. You're going to make six out of 10 trades positive four are going to be losses. So it's your job to mitigate the amount, to, to limit the amount of loss and, and, and maximize the amount of profit. Okay, so that, that's the whole thing. Losses are part of winning. You need to have strength to take your losses. If you're moving your, strip, your stops around, this is the one you want to go to first. Exercising patience of all six here, it is exercising patience that our traders um, gave us the most feedback over the years, without exception. It's when you have the, you know, because when you're waiting for a trade, especially if I've had a poor day yesterday, you want to get it back. Okay. That the So you, you need to tamp down those feelings and tamp up the idea of recognizing what an A plus trigger is for you and, and only take the very high probability trades so that the, the more high probability trades you take, the better your outcomes are going to be. You need to exercise patience and not get upset when all day passes and no trades. Okay, fine. That happens all the time. Not all the time, but it happens frequently enough so that you need to put, pat yourself on the back and say, hey, you exercise patience. Sure, you admit there was a trade that you could have had that your system didn't show you. There was some action in the market, but your trading plan didn't give you what you wanted. And that's fine because you exercise patience and you lost nothing. You exercise your, your, your right and your actual actual self of being a professional trader. That's what professionals, we don't rush into trades. Okay, we wait for the setups, exercising patience. And the last is sustaining discipline. It's more of a long-term meditation and it actually encapsulates a number of the different um, suggestions that are in the other. So we ask you to, to hit on these first if that's your area. And then when you feel confident in total, then we want you to drill on sustaining discipline, which is kind of a potpourri of all the positive suggestions uh, to keep that. Because you got to continue to feed those neural nets. You have negativity coming in all the time. So you need to counter that with making sure that the, that the, uh, that the neural pathways are continuing to be created to offset the negative uh, energies that you're also creating just by listening to CNBC or whatever. Okay. So you, it's your job. It's your job to say, I'm going to make a change and I'm going to feed my mind with the right thing. I'm going to do it just like jobs did it. I'm going to do like Elon Musk did it. I'm going to do like Joe Rogan. I'm going to do like, like, like everybody, uh, Tom Hanks, everybody. If you ever read most of the greats out there are meditating, you need to do it too. And, I'm, and all we ask to turn you around as a trader, 
and, and get that confidence that you need is seven to 10 minutes a day. Because the, what happens is your, your brain is kind of like an onion, really, and it peels back layers. Many times, if you, if you conquer, if your problem was hesitating to pull the trigger because you didn't want to lose, you had a couple of loses, when you turn that around, sometimes uh, it's like dominoes. The things that you thought were problems get solved as, as part of uh, a part of your work with hesitating to pull the trigger. Sometimes all you have to do is, is solve the one main issue that comes up for you and all the others fall into place in a positive way. Sometimes not, sometimes it'll expose a mark. Sometimes you may think that hesitating pull the trigger is your problem, but, but really it's the strength to take your losses that's your problem. And you, all, you won't know it until you clear this and you, you, know, you clear pulling the trigger and you have confidence, but you're still getting thoughts of, of not taking your loss because you don't have the strength to do it. So we have all the solutions for you in a very simple way. And until you approach your mental and emotional game in trading, you're going to have the same results. You're going to have, you're going to go from trading plan to trading plan to trading plan, and you're going to get exactly the same results as you're getting right now. So um, I, I urge you to take what I'm saying seriously here. Okay, um, the Discipline Trader Mastery Program. I mentioned these six core meditations. I also mentioned that I had 208 four minute drill for traders. You can find them all, a lot of my colleagues have posted uh, several of them if they, if the particular topic for that four minute drill matched this situation. But uh, you, you can find them out there haphazardly, but I've put them all in one place. So you're gonna see a screen like this. This is, one, this is uh, one small page of the 208, where look at some of these, these, um, these titles, characteristics of a successful trader. I give it to you right between the eyes in four minutes. These are motivational things. It, listen, we're alone. It's nice to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be there with you where you, you know, maybe you're having a down day. Maybe you didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Okay. Um, here are the characteristics of a successful trader. Let's do, let's listen to what they are and let's make sure I have those before I start my trading. Psychological impact of losing money. I give you a little depth about what that's about. Again, in a four minute, but I always, I always give you the solution at the end that it's, and the action step to do it. Uh, so I won't go through any of this, but uh, any more of this, but I, I just want you to know that this is a way of having me coach you right there. Uh, right when you need me. And there's 208 different titles for you to, uh, to, to avail yourself of. I'm, I'm giving you all of the 208 in one place so that you're gonna have to, you don't have to look around the web for it. There's also a basic series. Um, this is not for uh, traders who are experienced. This is for people who are just in their first year or so of trading. I, I have, I, I've recorded uh, four different webinars where I brought in experts in these areas, building and running your trading plan, employing risk and money management, journaling tips and techniques. And again, Joe actually did this for, maybe everybody wants to listen to that trading as a business. But I want everybody, especially the new people, to have a framework of, of what a professional trader uh, pays attention to and where they uh, where and how they live as a trader from a you know from their nine to five or however long you trade. Okay, so the basic series again mostly for beginners, but hey, it's never a good, bad idea to go through the basics. Okay, I also want to give you what we call the disciplined trader lifestyle. I sh I showed you those six meditations in the core area. What happened? What happens is that traders for over the years were telling us, listen. I'm, I'm set now in trading. Everything's going smoothly for me. I'm making a nice, consistent profit. But do you have anything else, uh, any, other, any of your other meditations that you sometimes talk about? Do you have any of that? Well, we, well before we started, before we um, worked with traders, we worked with everybody. We had nine different software titles. We helped golf, professional golfers. We helped professional tennis players. We helped uh, students in learning so on and so forth. We had so many, we had specific, our business was se uh, selling uh, discs, CDs to, uh, to these different genres. And uh, we've helped some of the top um, the basketball players in the NBA, as well as um, a lot of the golf. Bernhard Langer still uses our, 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 um, our golf software or our, our golf suggestions, but there's 101 life-changing meditations. So when you see what happens, 
in your trading life, you're going to be able to, uh, to tap into 101 different meditations in all of these different parts of your life, weight loss, skills, golf. These are all those, all those softwares. We've just dumped all the meditations on here. So if you're a tennis player, you may want to take out my offer just, just because it'll, it, it makes it, you know, you'll, 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 you'll play much better tennis when your mind is together. I'm a tennis player. Sales, stop smoking, better sex. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people do that and don't tell me about it. additional trading meditations, coping with losses, letting go of negative thoughts, etc. So we give you the what I call the discipline trade of lifestyle meditation. This was really prompted by our traders who said, hey, it worked for my trading. What else have you got for my lifestyle? The discipline trader mastery program, the information in, in this program is unbelievable, uh, unbelievably valuable. Keep up the great work. You're helping many fledgling traders like myself to improve and be consistently successful. Now, I underline that consistently successful because I, I, I wanted to just show that, that the difference between I'm, I'm doing better and I'm making money. When you're consistently successful, what Craig is doing is making money. OK, we're here to make money. We're not here to get better. We're not here to be a little bit better. We're here to have a consistent profitability like Craig. OK, here's a Tybor who said, thanks as a subscriber to your program helped me a lot. I didn't edit this. A lot, a lot of things have been coming together for me, plan, psyche, risk management. And I've become consistently more consistently profitable. Again, our traders are talking to us about consistent profitability, not just getting a little bit better. When you when this piece is is part of your life, when you all of a sudden take your inner strength and apply it to the market in a positive way. That's when consistent profitability happens. And we have, we, we, we've now hit over a thousand different testimonials. We, we've been doing it for 20 years. So I guess a thousand testimonials may not sound so crazy, but um, these are, you're a class act, absolutely fabulous, fantastic. It's a great way to, these are all owners of the Discipline Trader Mastery Program. I need a bloody kick to get. <laughs> I need a bloody kick to get me focused. Of course, if a fellow from England is, you know, we, and here's my. I have pages and pages of this. My request is please don't change. Norman, thank you for all that you do. January is my biggest month ever, including my working years. Fourth month without a losing streak. Bless you, Discipline Trader family. Be part of our family, and I'm going to make it very easy for you in a second. Thanks again for your structure that you provided and blessings. He, he, and here's a 30 day no risk guarantee for you. I'm taking all the risk. If you're not experiencing a shift into the, into the zone when you're trading, which means a relaxed, confident focus, I'll refund your money, uh, whatever you pay. And I'm, it's gonna be a lot less than a lot of people have paid. Your investment, no questions asked. So for 30 days, just do the meditations. It won't take 30 days. Some people take a week, some people, just five times every day, once a day for seven to 10 minutes. Um, it's all you need to do. If you do that, experiencing, if you're not experiencing the shift, uh, listen, it works. I know it works. You saw the testimonials. I want it to work for you, but you, I'm taking the risk away so that you, you have no excuse really not to try this. I want you to try it. We are the torchbearers in the entire industry for the mental and emotional. Anybody will tell you that. Uh, in this business, most most gurus stay away from this because they they really have not, they really don't understand the depth and what it takes to turn traders around. They'd rather and, and there is some value in giving you a good trading plan, but unless you have your head together, nothing's going to happen for you. Okay, so here's my guarantee. Okay, I want to give you a fast action bonus. Um, I, I if you do this by five o'clock today, if you invest in, in what I'm showing you right here before five o'clock today, because I, I want to honor those people who are really, really ready to make a change that understand what I'm saying. Okay. And, and this is, this is a great bonus because I, it, this is your guide to a simple trading plan. I'm going to give you the three original simple trading plans. These three original simple trading plans are really a tech, a, a special technique in each of these plans that stand alone and can be used just as a trading plan, or you can infuse it in your current trading plan. But the idea is that it will demonstrate to you the simplicity of what a, 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 what a trading plan looks like when it's simple. 
Okay, I'm going to give you all three. They all they fit on three on the separate pieces of paper. They're simple because everything the the the, the entry signals, the exit signals, and some samples of, of of what the triggers look like. They all it all fits on one sheet of paper. The first one is called big move potential. This this takes advantage of a turn in the market. Listen, all traders like to think that they can catch the bottom of something. Well, there, there, there it is, the bottom. So if you catch the bottom of the top, this is a pretty responsible way of doing it. And I think you're going to find it very interesting if you're looking for that big move. If you, you know, there's nothing better than following a, 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 a trend. So when a market starts to correct, is it correcting and it's, is it turning in direction or is it just taking a pause for the cause and about to continue? This continuation plan will give you an alert and a, 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 will give you the structure to differentiate between whether a, a, a plan is, a, a, a trend is continuing or whether it's a reversal. A lot of people like that, but the one I get the most, and, uh, and it surprised me, the most uh, pleasure from traders is called the extreme plan. It uses Bollinger Bands in a very different way. And um, when a market gets too extreme, there's going to be a fast snapback. And I think it's the speed that excites traders. Uh, but it's, it's more of a, a snapback type of a responsible way to trade snapbacks. I want to give you all three of these. OK, this already is, a, is something that's a, a $600 value. OK, um, it's actually more than that. Uh, we, we won't go through the numbers. I'm just saying there is real value in this. And I want you to uh, I want you to have it if you're ready to go on this right away. OK, here's what I'm offering you. The six core in this this trader mastery program, you've got the six core meditations. OK, and um, th that's got a value of fourteen ninety seven. We're selling it right now. That's what we sell it for. And it's uh, it's really the only thing in the industry that does what it does. And that's why we sell a lot of them. I showed you the titles, Confidence to Pull the Trigger, Overcoming Thoughts and Fear and Greed, which is good for revenge trading and overtrading. Incidentally, overtrading became a very big thing last year. I don't know why, but it came up more. It was like skyrocketed with people. So uh, we help you with that. Trade to make money mindset, strength to take your losses, uh, exercising patience. I mentioned the importance of that. And of course, in the wrap up, uh, discipline. So we give you the six core subconscious training. You get all of the four minute drill for traders all in one place for you. The basic series, if you're a beginner, very important. And I give you all the lifestyle meditations. If you add all of that up, you're getting about $4,331 in. Um, but I'm going to give you a huge discount for you. It's going to be $4.97. And I've, I've changed the site in order to reflect that price. It won't reflect the fast action bonus of the three um, of the of, of the three simple trading plans that I want to give you, uh, but it will uh, it, it, it will show everything else. OK, just go to the disciplinetrader.com forward slash MP. I think you can actually click that in your uh, on the screen there or you can just write it down. Make sure you spell discipline correctly. Don't forget the C in discipline uh, forward slash MP and uh, the disciplinetrader.com forward slash MP. This is the answer to, um, to likely your issues as far as not making money. You've, you need the mental peace. You've got, my, my, you, you've got the reasons why. You've got my 30-day guarantee. It's because, and I only make it 30 days. So that's all it's going to take you to start to see your mentality turn around, which is going to result in uh, the kinds of, uh, of consistency that you're looking for as a trader. David, that's it, my friend. And, uh, and I think I got Fausto here. If you have never, if you've never heard Fausto, you got to stick around. I'm sure this is the only guy that I know that goes to sleep in a three-piece suit. 